Hi, right, come on in. Come on in, Ray. Hey, Blaine. Thanks for having me. No, thanks for having me. So, so this is uh, this is an episode of the Tiki Golf Club, and one thing I always like to creepy cocktails. Creepy cocktails. Creepy cocktails. Not and not 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 goofy creepy like you know a, a gummy eyeball or it's like <laughs> it's too it's like too sweet or it's in a vial. It's you know more for like somebody who's you know in a fraternity or a sorority. No, this is this is the real deal, and this is Blaine. You have a this is. The Wicker Bar. We're this in the Wicker the, Bar. Yes. You have a YouTube show. I do. Where you make cocktails and stuff like that. You're the singer of. Um, you've been a singer of many, many punk rock bands throughout your life. Right now, you. So, what what band or bands do you have going on right now? Um, right now, uh, we have a band called Toe Tag. Toe Tag, and, and you guys uh, have been around for. Shit. We've been around for about 15 years, yep. and uh, actually, yesterday afternoon, we just uh, filmed the uh, performance footage for a video for a song we have called Fangs of the Rat. And Fangs of the Rat is loosely based on an Italian horror movie oh. called Rats, Night of Terror. Okay. If you've never seen it, uh, it's on YouTube. Um, I think they've even had it on, uh, on Comet TV. Um, oh, nice. Sit, sit, sit through it post-apocalyptic. <laughs> you know, Rats. It's kind of like a Warriors, more Warriors than Mad Max. But yeah. yeah, you know. Yeah. And, then, and you're going to make us a, well, what I'd like to call a tiki goth drink. I, I, I am because and, and and then we got we got to, we, before we go any further it's just like we we're talking and Blaine's like yeah I'm making a tiki cocktail book or, or a cocktail book. a cocktail book yeah and it's like it's all gonna be creepy horror themed drinks and this is this is not the book itself this is kind of like the mock that that is that is the mock up yeah it's like this, it, or, yeah yeah this is the mock up this is you that is me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and you're like yeah and, and i start going through this this all these different drinks and you have different cocktails and they all i came up with what was the drink we're gonna do um we're gonna do the vampire the but vampire. all of these these are all like analog so i have a a, a very modest library of cocktail yeah. books and these are all these are all classic um cocktails like i don't i didn't want to do like you know, I, you can look on the internet. Halloween drinks is like some of them. It's like, ah, yeah. okay, well, that's kind of like something for for your child. So we've got this, and these are all classics. And the one that we're doing, um, yeah, right now is called the Vampire. And these all these this book is going to be released for real. It's going to be ready by Halloween. Okay, cool. And then, well, I'd we'll love, love to have you back on the show. I'm going to be when, back. Well, you you live here, so yeah, I'll come back here, <laughs> and then we'll we'll go further. But this is the drink that we're going to make. Right, and this this is the artwork that was done for this uh, for the vampire. This was yeah. done by Kevin. Unfortunately, Ke I I don't know how to pronounce Kevin's last name properly because in my mind, I say it the wrong way. So I don't want to um, Blank, offend him. You know but, what uh, I realize? If I shave my beard, that's what I look like. Yeah. So obviously, it's a Nosferatu um, type type vampire. Yeah, I see that. <sighs> that's a, that's, the, that's a tan you get when you lived here. So we're doing the a vampire. Very very simple. Um, we have some vodka. We have uh, Sam, um, um, Chambord. Um, if you don't have Chambord, this is a, a blackberry, uh, a dark uh, black raspberry uh, liqueur. If you don't have that, yeah. uh, cre creme de cassis is going to do just as, as, as good. Um, just straight up cranberry juice. You know, right now, problems in the supply chain. I looked for something. I like the pink cranberry juice myself. It's a little, le a little less on the tart side. Yeah. But I couldn't get that, so we're on the regular uh, cranberry. Just these three ingredients. and um, It's just those three. That's it. I hope okay. so. I hope so. Yep, right. yep, yep. Um so the measurements I'm doing, it's kinda it's just a little bit more than a cocktail for two people. Okay. So and that's just because it's Ray and myself. If anybody else was here, I would, you know. Yeah. So, so just, you know, don't don't get too too crazy. And this is it's literally called the vampire. It's literally called the vampire. And it okay. is a classic. These are all classic. Interesting. Cl classic, classic drinks. Well, it's just like the corpse reviver or the zombie. I mean you look at some of these books, it's like, oh my god, the zombie, it's like that goes back. It's 34. The, yeah, 34. The third, it's crazy. Yeah. Um, Shit. Well, I'm thinking with the red cranberry is for the blood. Yes. Yeah. So it's a good thing you got that. Yeah. Just for the blood, the blood effect. So what do we got going on? Uh, we have three ounces of a vodka. 
Okay. Oh, you're splitting up between two. I'm like, all right, okay. <laughs> all right. Okay, I'm going to make the drink for two now. It's going to be six ounces of vodka. <laughs> Ray, you're never getting it. <laughs> Just like Jack Tarrant says from The yeah. Shining, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> all right. We're going to go uh, three, three Chambord. Is this hard to find? Uh, no, not at all. No, okay. No. And I'm going a little, a little, I'm going a little heavy on the Chambord. It should be two and a half. Okay. But I'm going to try to, uh, uh, knock off some of the, uh, the acidity from the, uh, from the cranberry. Cranberry juice is good for you though, right? It is. Yeah. It's a superfood. Mm-hmm. And three ounces of, uh, ooh, that was a little bit too many. That was four. There we go. Three ounces of cranberry. Yeah. Bunch of ice, ice, and just you know, if you knew, if you haven't watched the Wicker Bar, um, I source all of my ice is made from uh, water from the Longfellow Creek, which is out here in the uh, in the Green Belt. <clears throat> so it's full of uh, lots of bacteria, amoebas, protozoas, uh, giardias, um, all kinds of good stuff. It makes you uh, much, 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 much better than a kombucha. Yeah, it's like Nietzsche. You know, if it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger, right? Exactly. And that's kind of how this drink is going to be. Oh, wow. Look at that. I'm well, I'm curious to see what this tastes like. Because I'll be honest with you, Blaine. I, I'm, I, right now, I have no idea that, wow, this is going to go. Oh, I think it's going to be delicious. It might just be a little little on the tart side. We might this wish. Is, this is a strain. It's a strain drink. Yeah. So here you go. Here's to our. Who's to your favorite? Who's your favorite vampire? I can't say because there's too many. Start to get in those Hamer. Robert De Niro. <laughs> De Niro. <laughs> Nicholas Cage. Yeah, there you go. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's nice. The Chambord. Nicely, nicely plays with that cranberry. Obviously, you don't. Okay, well, okay. Well, it definitely has like a... I th- it definitely has a berry taste to it. Mm, that's going to be your Chambord there. So that's not the cranberry. I don't think so. God, this is really good. I'll tell you what. I mean, like, you know, being into tiki, there's just like almost all the drinks are made with like rum. Mm-hmm. And it is refreshing to have a drink that isn't rum-based. Mm-hmm. This is a great drink. And I'll tell you what. This would be a good drink to, to someone who's maybe not that big of a drinker. Yeah. This is what I'd serve. This is very clean. This is very light. Very refreshing. I thought it was going to be more of a deeper, thicker drink. Yeah. No, it is very, very refreshing. Yeah. So this is called The Vampire. The Vampire. And it's going to be part of your book that's going to be coming out by by, uh, Halloween. Yes. Cocktails and mixed drinks from the uh, Wicker Bar. And uh, and then you call yourself, what do you call yourself? Lord Zippy. Lord Zippy Blaine, the Duke of the Delridge. I'm here uh, broadcasting live on the shores of the Longfellow Creek. And I've got 25, 25 different artists in there um, um, from around the world. Um, oh, my God. Well, uh, um, well, well, I'll tell you what. Once the book comes out, we'll come back and we'll we'll do some more cocktails and we'll talk about the book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I want to give these these artists. I mean, they're the ones that did everything. I just kind of brought, I kind of brought everybody together. That's what you do, Blaine. Yeah. You just, yeah. Bring, you just bring everyone together. That's right. And get them drunk. <laughs> So you may be asking yourself, how can I join the Tiki Goth Club? Well, there is no membership. There are no fees. But I have shirts for sale. They're $20 a piece, $5 shipping and handling. If you're interested, go to my website, tikiwithray.com. There's a prompt that says buy a shirt, follow that, and then that's how you can get your own. Want to impress your goth friends the next time you come over to your Tiki Bar? Serve a Mai Tais out of my Tiki Goth Club glasses. They're only $15 Head over to tikiwithray.com to buy your own.